Hey, beautiful souls, I'm Brooke. I am an intuitive Reiki master. I'm also a channel for the divine. Welcome back. Happy St. Patrick's Day and also happy Heart Chakra Day. It's exciting. Yeah, yeah. All right, so um, I was calling in Archangel Michael to wrap his protection around you and around me. While I go through and I do this reading, I was also, also asking Metatron to activate his cube. Okay, so if there's any residual in the chakras, he can go ahead and clear those right up for you. All right, it's there. All you have to do is be willing and open to receiving it. All right. So I decided to change up my readings a little bit today and I pulled out my astrological deck, which I love this deck. I just never use it. Okay. Cause it's the zodiacs and, and the planets. Okay. And decided just to randomly draw, uh, the zodiac zodiacs as I'm going to do the readings. Okay. 111 on my clock. So I'm not going to look, let's see. Um, which one's it gonna be? Let's do this one. Leo 123. I love it. Leo, Leo, Leo. Let's see what's going on with Leo with the twin flame journey. What's going on with Leo? We're gonna see where Divine Feminine's at. We're gonna see where Divine Masculine's at. 144 on my clock. Let's see what's going on with Leo. Twin flame reading for Leo. Okay, give me one more, please. Love it. A time to give rather than take. New moon and Virgo. Hmm. Love it. Definitely in the heart chakra. Work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. Did I even show you this? Okay. So I've got two new moons. Full moon in Scorpio. Ooh, there's a lot of Pluto and Mars energy here. Time to release negativity. So Leo, there's some fears. <coughs> negativity coming up. And the energy is gaining momentum. Okay, I've got Virgo and Scorpio coming through. So that's going to be Mercury and Pluto. Okay, let's see where uh, Divine Feminine's at on the journey. Let's see the energy Divine Feminine's embodying for Leo. Six of Swords, Divine Feminines moving forward, moving towards her future. Ready to go on that ship, ready to sail away. And what I love, let's bite my hair, whew, is there's a gentleman in the back just looking at her. Okay. As she's moving on the boat, three through three on my clock. Okay, let's see what energies divine masculine embodying. Two of wands. Oh, I love it. All right. So, really manifesting the key to the correct box. Which one is it? Mm, which box does the key go to? Hmm. Because there's two boxes, only one key. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what's going on um, between Divine Feminine, Divine 414, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Okay, Three of Cups. Whoo! I might not show this one. That's a little risky. Okay. So getting a little heated. Getting a little heated between the two. Let's see what's going on. Um, let's see. How's Divine Feminine seeing this relationship? How's Divine Feminine seeing it? Oh, okay. I've got Knight of Pentacles. 
It's been a slow healing process with the star. Okay, I love that the two horses are in there, okay? So the Knight of Pentacles is going to be the slowest moving knight in the deck, okay? This could be going on for the last year, okay? Got the star, so it's definitely been a lot of healing, a lot of, it's been slow moving energy. Let's see, um, how does Divine Masculine see the relationship? As, you know, hermit, as a very spiritual connection, okay? Definitely meeting of guides coming together. I get that feeling. Leaders of the light, okay? Because that's what that reminds me of. Definitely leading with the light. It has the light out, showing people this is the direction you need to go in. Let's see. Messages from Divine Feminine's Higher Self. Emperor. A lot of Mars energy, ready to take action, okay? But also be mindful because the emperor can also be uh, considered the narcissist in the card, okay? Controlling war, right? And maybe that's the fear that you need to let go of because it's time to release negativity, right? And I get the emperor, so maybe there's a fear connected to... That Mars energy, being in control, leading. Okay, messages from Divine Masculine's Higher Self. Really getting crystal clear about what it is that you're wanting to bring in. But also keep in mind, the uh, King of Swords can uh, be a little harsh with those words, right? Uh, seven, two, three can be a little cold, okay? A little direct. Take no shit, cut through the bullshit, 733. So that could also be another negative thing that needs to be released at this moment in order to find the correct box that the key goes into. Okay, uh, let's see what's going on underneath the surface with the Divine Feminine. What's going on underneath the surface? Seven of Cups. There's a choice that's got to be made, Divine Feminine. Okay, got to make the choice of what direction you're going to move in, okay? Are you going to move towards this connection? Or are you going to kind of put some fillers out there and see if there's anything else that comes up, you know? If it's not flowing, okay, and it's bringing up a lot of fears, what are you going to do about it? Is this the healing connection that you're wanting to go towards? Or, okay, is there something else that you're not seeing? All right, let's see what's going on underneath the surface for Divine Masculine. And I get two cards for Divine Masculine. Ah, uh, Eight of Cups. And I'm seeing Pisces there. Okay, and Ten of Cups. I'm seeing Pisces and Mars there too with the dog and the cat. Oh. Really uh, moving in the direction of your ultimate happiness, ultimate um, love, okay? Maybe releasing the negative self-talk, the negative um, communication, okay? Divine Feminine, releasing um, any questions, okay, because the Seven of Cups is all about, I've got way too many options. I could go this way, I could go that way, and da, 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 da. really getting crystal clear about the direction that you're wanting to go in. Okay, let's see what comes out of my four leaf clover fairy deck. I'm so excited. Let's 
see what comes out. Let's see what the fairies have to say. Okay, this Divine Masculine can also be channeling some Virgo energy. Because that's, you know, the Hermit is Virgo. Divine Feminine, I'm seeing Aquarius. There's a lot of Pluto, a lot of Scorpio. Higher consciousness. Aw, uh, awaken, expand, enlighten. Aw. Uh, okay, that's the healing that needs to take place. It's going to be higher consciousness. Really bringing this in from the 5D, grounding it solid into the 3D reality. Passion. Yes, I love this. There's definitely a lot of passion here. I'm seeing it 11, 11 on my clock. I'm seeing it in what's going on with the relationship. New beginnings. Oh, look at the cherries. Oh, there's definitely a new beginning coming in. Some decisions need to be made. Some fears need to be worked through, released. Okay, especially with this Virgo. <laughs> moon magic. With this Virgo full moon. Okay, in order to launch this forward. Okay, Divine Feminine's ready to move, ready to let go of not knowing what direction they're going in. Divine Masculine's ready to walk towards the happy healing, okay, relationship. All right, guys. If this reading resonated and you would like to schedule a reading with me, my website's below. I'm going to leave you here. It's 1212 on my clock. I love you guys. Have a magical St. Patrick's Day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.